Hey guys, David Klein here with TeamUSAF3B.com. Please support us by going to our website, check out all our sponsors, support them. Without them we couldn't do this, and without your support in the raffle and, and with our apparel sales, we wouldn't be able to, uh, to go to the World Championships and compete as we do. So thank you very much for your support in advance. I wanted to take the time today to talk a little bit about controlling your glider on launch and especially how it pertains to hooking and just correcting the path of your glider and what it should look like. I've got this trusty little uh, um, model here to, uh, to do a little show and tell with. Um, and I've got some nice orange mega line attached to the bottom about where the tow hook would be so that you can see the glider's attitude to the line. Hopefully you can see the line here. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is when we launch, how do we hook over, what controls do we use, and, and how should it look compared to the line? And I wanted to talk about, number one, a lot of people go from F3J and they look at this and they set it up with thinking they can do it all with just their rudder. And one important thing to note is that with the minimal dihedral on these planes, the rudder is only so effective and the ailerons are much more powerful. At first, you should be using your ailerons to guide the plane, and as you become more advanced and you can see the subtleties more, you start using your rudder more and more. First, it's important to know that you want to keep your wings square with the line at all times. If your wings are rocked to the right and you're trying to use your rudder to go to the left, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to end up snapping your glider um, uh, and, and doing some twirls on the line. So you, only when the plane is completely square to the line will your rudder be effective. So if the throw comes out and it's walked over to the right a little too much and you're trying to go back to the left, correct and steer with your ailerons first as well as your rudder and get it going that way. So uh, if we're starting a hook, I'll usually lead with my ailerons slightly and then with the rudder, square off. And now as I'm coming around the horn, I can get ahead of it and put my input in early and use my rudder to come back around. And it's important to note as I'm hooking around and I'm trying to come back up the line, that the glider will almost always try to overreact and come too far past when I just want to come to square here. So I'll start the turn and then actually have to turn back out slightly with my control inputs to come square up the line. And when I get towards the top here, I want to quickly switch into my speed mode, dive directly parallel to the line, and pull out nice and smoothly and zoom into the wind and back towards the entry of the course.